wait. I switched picks. I'm not, I'm not playing the. Uh, <laughs> switching to the, to the switching to the rush pick. The show was better when I was playing the rush pick. Am I, am I right? I'm not superstitious. But this might have superpowers. Alex Lifeson gave it to me. Uh, actually. <laughs> I used to live, when I was making Odelay, I lived in this house in Echo Park. It was like a little cabin. And uh, on the steepest hill, the hill was that steep. And uh, Odelay was written on a street that steep. Uh, and there was no street numbers on the house. And I was way too lazy to go to the to the um, store, to the hardware store and buy some numbers and, and actually mail them up. And uh, the address happened to be 2112, so I just went to my record collection, I got the Rush album, which is the 2112 Rush album cover on my pick right now. And that's how people found me for many years. Also, um, really crazy Rush fans found me too, which you don't want to attract to your house. Great band, but you know. They don't have the best hygiene. I mean, the band has great hygiene. And it's, you know, that's the, that's going to be like the headline of the review of the show. Right? That calls calls rush fans. Slanders. Okay, this is. Uh... Play a new song. Is it? Yeah. Well, like, not new, but new to you. So. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> I was going to play Truck Driving Neighbors downstairs. I told you it's like, uh, I got to play a little of that. As a casualty with a repossessed car Vietnam vet playing air guitar It's just a shit kicks the steam Taking the track Leaving the nearest down stairs So, these were actually some truck driving neighbors I had And uh, one of them had a huge beard And a cowboy hat and no shirt and these uh, flared jeans with a big trucker belt buckle and, uh, and the aviator black lenses that were uh, mirrored. And then the other guy just wore dolphin shorts, which were like these little satin shorts. And uh, they lived downstairs and they, they would you know, go on these benders and then um, there was one night in particular where they got into a big fight and they were screaming and yelling. Then I heard bookshelves falling over. And then one of them locked the other one out of the house. And in the beginning of the song, you can hear one of them yelling at him like, Come on, I'm coming in. You know? And the other one's like, Go get your mommy. And uh, um, Go tell it's your mommy. And then the other guy went to his big rig truck, was parked out in front of the apartment building, and he got an axe. And he's trying to break down the door, which was made out of metal, because it was not a good neighborhood. And it didn't really work, but it was... Um, then he went and he smashed all the windshields of all the cars in the street. And I was writing this. I just had this. That's really shitty, right? <laughs> Definitely not Ed Sheeran's guitar, no. <laughs> um, what are the lyrics? I just know the first verse. Uh, something about... Uh, that's the one I sang already, though. What? That's what I played. <laughs> I so we all only know the first verse. Is whatever I'll say. Okay. So I'll just make it up. Uh, I'm so sexy and no shirt and no shoes.
psychotic breakdown, double edge axe going hair like a shag rug on a PC back. It's just a shit, taking sweet, taking shot, driving Davis downstairs. There's a breakdown right here. I just, I wanted to write a classic rock song, and all the classic rock songs have like the fantasy section that sounds like a Pegasus flying through space. That's what this section was. So this is with a truck driver flying on a Pegasus. Truck driving Pegasus flying through the... <laughs> No, it doesn't work. <laughs> Just a shit, kicking, speed, taking, truck, driving, neighbors downstairs. 